Well, hello students. Welcome back to Mathematics class. Today, we're going to learn about probability diagram. Let's check this video out. When you toss the coin, it will either a hat or a tail. A hat or a tail. All of us will agree that these are the only possibilities. That's what we call outcomes. How about the other? Assume a fair of die is thrown. Let's think of all possible outcomes. You may get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. These are the only possible outcomes for a thrown a die. The set of all the possible outcomes is called the sample space. A possible outcome for an even is called favorable outcomes. For example, let's an even E is the set of outcomes which are multiples of 3 in rolling a die. The probability of even E is number of outcomes favorable to the even E per total number of possible outcomes. So, these are the outcomes for a rolling a die. 3, this is what you call sample space. And 3 and 6, this is what you call favorable outcomes of even E. Because at even E is a multiple of 3. 3 and 6. So the probability of E equal to 2 per 6 or 1 per 3. Or you can re represent the probability in decimal number 0 0.333 or even in a percentage. So the probability of E equal to 33%. So how about a probability of an event that involve two processes? We need a probability diagram to list all the outcomes. For example, two fair six-sided dice are thrown. Two fair, so it includes two processes. So we need the diagrams. Let's say this is the first die and this is the second die. So one and one, it means we got one at the first die and also one at the second. Two and four, it means we got two at the first and four at the second. Five and three, we got five at the first and three at the second. Or we can complete all of the table by this table. So. There are 36 outcomes exactly for rolling two fair six-sided dice, as you can see here. So, find the probability that the sum of two numbers sound is 10. So, we find the outcomes that if we add all those numbers together equal to 10. If you look very carefully, you'll find that these three outcomes is actually the favorable outcomes of this event because four and six if we can all this together we get ten five and five also ten six and four also ten so these three outcomes is the favorable outcomes so the probability equal to three per thirty six the number of favorable outcomes this one and all the outcomes this one so equal to 1 per 12 if you want to make it simpler next find the probability that at least one die shows a 3 at least one die shows a 3 this and this outcomes so all these outcomes have at least one three but how about these outcomes there are two threes in these outcomes it's okay that's that's fine because the even is at least one die two it's fine because at least so the probability is number of favorable outcomes per total outcomes 11 per 36 because there are 11 outcomes here and 36 outcomes. So, 11 per 36. Next example. Two coins are thrown. Remember, involve two coins, it means two processes. We need a probability diagram. 
find the probability that the identical outcomes. First, we have to make the probability diagram. So let's say this is the outcomes for the first coin, and then this is the outcomes for the second coin. If you join all together, we got four outcomes, total outcomes. So they even ask the identical outcomes. Identical, it means the same outcomes. So these are the same outcomes. H and H, it means hat and hat and tail and tail okay this is the favorable outcomes there are two favorable outcomes per four total outcomes so two per four or equal to one per two 